Right now, the full House is debating a controversial bill that would put abortion rights into state law. Now, this bill has sparked a lot of debate between supporters and opponents. This is a look at the State House just a short time ago. Protesters gathered in the rotunda carrying signs. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live at the State House. And, Steph, where do things stand right now? Well, I just stepped off the House floor where lawmakers have just begun the debate on this abortion rights bill. As we've been reporting, it would put abortion rights into Rhode Island law, guaranteeing the right to an abortion up to the point of fetal viability. The part of the bill that's gotten, that's been contentious, that's gotten a lot of opposition, has to do with late-term abortions and the exceptions to that, uh, allowing late-term abortions when necessary to preserve the life or health of the mother. That is what's currently allowed under Roe versus Wade in subsequent court cases. But opponents are concerned it could be written too broad. I think we need definition on health and necessity. Is it mental health? What is necessary? Could there be other options that would preserve the life of the fetus? If this bill passes and eventually is signed into law, nothing will change in Rhode Island except that women will have the right to make these decisions with their families and their doctors the way it currently is in Rhode Island today. And the debate, again, just got underway. I'm told up to 20 amendments have been drafted, although that doesn't mean they will all be offered. But we are expecting a lengthy debate. I'm going to get back in there. We'll have an update for you at 6 o'clock. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.